Hello, this is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I want to talk to you today about the astrology of Thursday, um, September 27th. Uh, today the moon shifts from Aries into Taurus. Taurus brings a certain amount of stability to the day. The Taurus moon does make immediately, practically, a conjunction to uh, Uranus and Taurus and then a trine to Saturn in Capricorn. This, um, this actually allows uh, our very personal things, our personal life, uh, to go through transformations, uh, destructuring and restructuring, an opportunity for us to um, break free from those things that have held us back. Uh, those traumas that have held us back um, and then restructuring our lives in such a way that we are empowering ourselves towards freedom and change. Um, <clears throat> today the Sun makes a supportive uh, connection to Mars. This is a trine of understanding and um, we have an opportunity to share what we know, uh, to help each other understand where we are and uh, how we can help. Um, how we can help each other, really. The sun in um, Libra illuminates issues of justice and fairness and relationship, and with the trine to Mars and Aquarius, it brings a revolutionary edge. And we have to remember that yesterday, Mars conjuncted the south node of the moon. The south node of the moon in Aquarius deals with our past emotional traumas. And with the sun trining that spot and trining Mars and us taking action, this is an opportunity to uh, shed light on some of the darker places and uh, some of our past traumas. Uh, Aquarius is an archetype that deals with trauma. And when you're dealing with Aquarius, oftentimes there's this sense of group trauma. There's a sense of um, even being kicked out of the group or feeling isolated or alienated and not connected to your emotions. Those are all things that you can have with Aquarius. And so we're going to feel our feelings today and we have a great opportunity to heal. We'll see it in our own lives and we'll see it in the, in the outer world as well. Uh, a very, very powerful and potent day. We are, um, we also, oh, one other thing, I almost forgot. Um, Chiron, which has been in Aries since April, <clears throat> is now retrograde and moves back into Pisces. It'll be in Pisces for, uh, I think, the last two or three degrees of Pisces. Um, and then it'll go back into Aries and won't come back and, and won't be back for another 50-odd years. So... Um, we have a little cleaning up to do. Pisces, <clears throat> Chiron of Pisces deals with the, um, the wound of um, abandonment and abandonment from God and a need for us to connect with something uh, greater than ourselves. And, uh, we, you know, we'll have an opportunity to connect with spirit through this process. But uh, there's a lot of healing that's going to be happening. And... Um, a lot of feelings, <laughs> but ultimately it's going to um, make us more compassionate and loving individuals. So uh, be kind to one another. This is a tough time. Have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. If you enjoy these videos, press the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, and I do do personal readings, so if you're interested, let me know. Have a great day. Bye.